Hello math learners! Welcome to another session here in Math Learning with Sir Ash. This is still your free access YouTube Edu creator, Math Teacher Ash, and today we're going to discuss and solve another set of word problems involving geometric sequence. Now, in this video, you will learn the technique, the process, as well as what are the things you need to consider in solving problems involving geometric sequence. But remember, if you are still new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of these cool clear math videos just like this. Okay, math learners, welcome to another session here in Math Learning with Sir Ash. And today, we're going to solve a series of word problems involving geometric sequence. But before we start solving these problems we have prepared, first, we need to have a strong foundation on what a geometric sequence is. Well, the geometric sequence is the counterpart of the arithmetic sequence. Basically, in the arithmetic sequence, we are adding and subtracting which is what we call the common difference. While here in the geometric sequence, we will be multiplying or dividing, and that is the common ratio. So, the formula we use in the geometric sequence is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r to the power of n minus 1, where r is the common ratio, and our a sub 1 is the first term. While... If we are talking about the sum of a geometric sequence, then that is called geometric series. Well, in the geometric series, we use the formula S sub n is equal to A sub 1 times 1 minus r to the power of n over 1 minus r. Okay, so now let us start our first problem. In a geometric sequence, the first term is 4, while the sixth term is 12,500. What is the common ratio? And what is the fourth term of the sequence? Okay. okay, math learners, in this certain problem, we have two things unknown. The first one is the common ratio, and the second one is what is the fourth term. The given are a sub 1 is 4, and a sub 6, which is the 6, is 12,500. So the question is, what is r? The common ratio and what is the fourth term okay so now my dear math learners, we need to solve first our common ratio so how do we do that of course we can apply our given in this formula so our a sub n which is a sub 6 that is 12,500 okay a sub 6 is 12,500 our first term is 4 our r is unknown but our n, since we are talking about 6 terms, that is 6 minus 1. Okay. So, simplifying this problem, my dear math learners, that will give us 12,500 is equal to 4 times r to the 5th power. Because 6 minus 1 is 5, of course. So, we divide both sides by 4. So, we have r to the 5th here on the right side. And then, 12 divided by 4, that is 3. 5 divided by 4, that is 1. It will become 10 divided by 4, that is 2. You still have a um, remainder, that is 2. Bring down 0, 20. And that is 3,125. Is this our value of R? Not yet, because this is still in the fifth power. So how do we get the value here? Or how do we eliminate the fifth power here? Of course, the opposite of the power is the root. So, we will get the fifth root of r to the fifth power as well as we also get the fifth root of 3,125. Now, the question is, what is a number multiplied five times to itself? The answer is 3,125. Now, I'm sure some of you are having a hard time on this one. But for me, I think since this is the last digit is 5, this might be a divisible of 5, right? So, let us try. 5 times 5, that is 25. 25 times 5, that is 125. 125 times 5, that is 6, 000, sorry, 625. And 625 times 5, then that is 3,125. So, therefore, 
our r is equal to 5. So we have already answered the first part of this given problem. Now the next part is, what is the fourth term? Okay, so by using the fourth term, we will still use our formula. So the fourth term is unknown, of course. The first term is still 4. Our r, we have already solved that one and that is 5. So that is 5. And then n minus 1, so since this is 4, so we have 4 minus 1. Okay, so we have 4 times 5 to the power of 3, okay? So that is a to the 4th, a sub 4, sorry. And then, so we have 4, 5 times 5 times 5, that is 125, okay? So of course, so 125 times 4, and the answer is 500. So therefore, for r, we have the value of 5, and for a to the 4th, or the 4th term, we have the value 500. Easy, right? Now, let us go to our second problem. Okay, math learners, for our second problem, we have if the first term of the geometric sequence is 2 and the common ratio is 9, what is the sum of its 5 terms? Okay, so the first given is 2. The ratio is 9. What is the sum of the 5 terms, the first 5 terms? So that is basically it, my dear math learners, right? So since we are talking about the sum, we can apply our formula for the geometric series. So our first term is 2, okay? So we put 2 here. Then we have 1 minus our r is 9, so 9 to the power of, okay, our n here is 5, right? Okay. And then we divide it, the whole expression, by 1 minus 9, okay? So, simplifying this, we have 2 times 1 minus 9 times 9, 81, 81 times 9, and then times 9 again, and then times 9 again. So, basically, 2 9s will have 81, right? So, we have 81 times 81, so that is already um, 9 to the 4th power. So, if we try to solve this one, that is basically um, 8, this is 64, right? So, 1, 16, carry 1, 5, 6, 6,500. 61. Okay. And then we multiply again 9 for this one. So 9, that is 54. This is 5. 45, 50, carry 1. Sorry, carry 5. Then 54 again plus 5, that is 59. So that is 59,049. All right. Divided by 1 minus 8, that is negative 8. Okay. So we divide this one. So 2, 1 minus 5. 1 minus 59,049, that will give us negative 59,048, alright, over negative 8. Now, as you can see, my dear math learners, we can cancel this out, right? So, this will become cancelled, this will become 8, so 8 now will become negative 4, okay. So, we just have negative 59,048 divided by 4. So, negative, negative, that will become positive. So, if we divide this one, we have 1. That is 19. So 19, that is 4. So 16, 30, that is 30, that is 7. So 28, 28, um, there's still 2, 24, that is 6. And then 8 divided by 4, that is 2. So therefore, our summation of the first 5 terms is 14,762. Easy, right? So now, let us go to our third problem. Okay, math learners, for our third problem, it says, A certain culture of bacteria triples in amount every day. If there are 100 bacteria present during day 1, what will be its total count in 10 days? Okay, my dear math learners, it is already told here that total. So meaning, summation is asked. Therefore, it asks for the total in 10 days. Okay. So, the first day, it has only 100 count of the bacteria, right? Now, um, in every day, it triples the amount, okay? So, meaning it is times 3. So, therefore, the common ratio here is 3. So, by applying our formula, that is 3 to the power of 10, right? Because we have here. Then, Divided by 1 minus 3. So simplifying, we have 100 minus, sorry, 
times 1 minus 3 times 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 3 okay so what will be the result of that one so that is this is 9 this is 9 so that is already 81 so we already have here another 81 and then another two more trees that is 9 so basically um 3 to the power of 10 is just the same as 9 to the power of 5 which is what we have discussed earlier in example number 1. So, that is 59,049. Okay. Over 1 minus 3, that is negative 2. Of course, you can already divide this 1. So, 100 divided by 2, that is negative 50. Okay. So, 1 minus 59,049, that is negative 59,048. Okay. This will give you, so we put 0 here. So, this will become positive, right? Because negative times negative is positive. So, 5 times 8, that is 40. Carry 4. 5, 20, 24. Okay. Then, 9 times 5, that is 45. 5 times 5, 25 plus 4. Okay. So, that is 29. So, this is 2,952,400 as the total count in 10 days of that cultured bacteria easy right now let us go to our final problem okay math learners for our final problem we have a commercial lots value appreciates by 10 percent every year if the lots initial value is 300,000 pesos how much will its value be after five years okay math learners this problem is basically asking for the fifth term of the given geometric sequence why because it asks for the fifth, uh, what is the value in five years, right? It says there that the first value is 300,000 pesos. That is the initial value of the lot, okay? And then, it appreciates 10% every year. So, basically, our ratio is 1.1 because 10% is 0.1 and 10% um, of that given value so that is 1.1 okay so the one there is the representation of the 100 percent of the given 300,000 okay and then we need to get the value in five years okay solving this one we just need to apply our formula so that is a sub 5 is equal to 300,000 times our r is 1.1 to the power of of course, this is 5. So, 5 minus 1, that is 4. Okay. So, 300,000 times 1.1 to the 4th power. Okay. So, if we multiply this, okay. And the value for that is 1.4641. Okay. So, if you multiply 300,000, we can have, so these are 5 zeros. So, we can write 5 zeros here. Okay. And since these are just decimals, so we have four decimals there. Okay. So, 3 times 1, that is 3. 3 times 4, that is 12. Carry 1, 18 plus 1, 19. Carry 1, 12, 13. Carry 1, 3 times 1, 3 plus the carry 1, that is 4. So, we have... Alright. We have... Let's just delete this one so that we will not get um, confused. 439,230 pesos. That will be the value of that certain lot in 5 years. Easy, right? So, my dear math learners, I hope you learned a lot about our topic for today. And if you do have more questions about word problems involving geometric sequence, feel free to put your inquiries in our comment section below. This is still your free access YouTube edu creator, Math Teacher Ash. And if you have think that this video have helped you please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell always remember it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning thank you so much god bless and keep safe always congratulations math learners for arriving to this part of the video if you think that this video have helped you click that like button and if you think that this channel can change the way you see mathematics, do not forget to click that subscribe button and notification bell. Thank you.